Hey, what's up, guys? It's KZ Fox here. Today, we have another Tulan gameplay for you guys. I hope you guys, after watching so many Tulan gameplays, you're able to get better with Tulan and dominate your ranked game with Tulan. So, before further ado, let's jump into the video. This game, I'm laning against a Maganga in mid lane, and I'm sorry to say that, but Tulan lose to Maganga every time in uh, in the lane, especially during the early game. You don't want to trade against that Maganga. Especially during early game because if you give him the chance to stack pausing onto you It's guaranteed you're gonna lo lose the uh, trade against the Maganga So the focus this game is just to you have to focus on pressuring the side lanes after you clear the wave Especially when Maganga is not in the mid lane You want to clear the mid wave and then try to rotate to side lanes to pressure help your teammate pressure the side waves That's like the strategy uh, for this game and because we have a Grax, Grax is really weak early on too, so this is almost a guaranteed losing lane, uh, especially for level 1. You just want to get uh, meaning kills and try to rotate afterwards. And also as you can see over here, that's exactly what I'm, what I'm doing, what I'm trying to do. So, you just want to clear the wave and not get hit by Maganga's uh, auto attack, because each auto attack is going to stack a poison up onto you. and. Uh, Five stacks of poison pretty much going to take half your, of your HP, uh, but thankfully Maganga isn't even level 2 at the moment, so just uh, keep a safe distance from him and try to get the meaning kills. And I'm going to rotate to the bottom side because um, we're gonna uh, because Grak is on bottom side and they have ADC on bot lane. If he has a pull, if he can hit a pull, and then we can kill that ADC pretty easy. Especially onto an L suit early on, and we did get an easy kill. Three minute against one, and we tower dope that one pretty easily. So, after that, we're just gonna go back to mid wave and try to clear mid wave and wait for the dragon to respawn. Because the enemy team is having the top side map uh, map control, you don't want to uh, risk yourself clearing this wave. They can rotate down to mid lane afterwards. You just wanna play careful over here and just try to uh, do your job and poke them away. Um, and over here you notice I'm not going back to mid to clear that wave because that's quite dangerous. The Ryoma could be taking Sentinel right now and he could show up the mid lane at any any second. So instead I'm just going to help my teammate try to try to help them do the dragon. And as you can see, um, I didn't really see Ryoma cross mid lane. He played really smart over here. So I, I was poked out by Ryoma's uh, combo. So I have to uh, Move back a little bit, but over here since we got dragon Our team has one more uh, level Against them and Grak hit a really really nice ultimate uh, after Talanis hit a nice ultimate after after the Grak our, our team was just able to Do like a wombo combo onto the enemy team and we're able to get some kills And it's really good for me because I ended up having the uh, taking the blue buff away from Ryoma So uh, that was a pretty good early game start for us and by this stage of the game, uh, because Maganga is on Maganga is only a uh, early counter to Tulan, and once you get to this stage of the game, um, he really shouldn't do that much damage to you, especially after you build your good griefs. You, you can just go ahead and jump onto him and try to trade um, against him. So he shouldn't really pose a threat to you anymore. You're gonna lose some HP for sure, but you should be able to get a kill onto the Maganga if he stay with you. You just have to watch for uh, the stacks he has on you. Don't let him don't, uh, try to avoid his ultimate when you have five stacks on yourself. So other than that, this should be a winning lane for us right now, and we should be um, be able to put more pressures, even more pressures onto the side side lanes by this point. So by this point, we already take uh, we already took the bottom side first tier tower. So we should really be able to just. Um, rotate between mid and bottom side because we have a Malak on top side. Malak is really good at taking pressure, so you don't really have to worry about top side. Just let him do his own things um, because he's really tanky. It's really hard to take Malak's tower. He can just clear the way very easily. And um, so over here we see that uh, Zill was trying to gank. I thought he was going in, but he was too scared to go in onto them. So that's fine. We didn't get the kill. But uh, let's just help our Malak uh, on Sentinel side because they're very trying to rotate down and the, the dragon is going to re respawn after this. 
So, this should be an easy game from here on out. And let's talk about the boot, uh, my choice for boots this game. I, I decided to build Gilded Greaves onto the Tulin. You guys may have seen in the, my previous video that I uh, sometimes build magic penetration boots, but that's not always the case. Over here we just got an easy kill onto the Varus once again. And I was trying to just chase that uh, real man a little bit because he has blue buff and that's really uh, good for me. I really want, I really like blue buff on myself. And I didn't really expect Elsie to jump the other way. I missed my first kill, but that's cool. that's all right. Uh, so for the boot choice, this game because they have Alice, they if Alice built Frosty Revenge, I and if she's targeting me with her ultimate, I could be just living in hell in um, in the range of her ultimate. So I decided to build a uh, Gilded Graves just to reduce the damage from Muganga at the same time reduce the cooldown, reduce the crowd control uh, effect from Alice. So notice here, our team is trying to find on top. The Grack hit another nice alt onto them, uh, uh, following and uh, Tawana's ultimate as well. And we're just gonna chase the Alice a little bit. Um, unfortunately, we were not able to get a kill onto the Alice because I don't have enough magic penetration by this point. This is just uh, when I, right after I finish building over my giant, I don't have enough penetration to kill uh, people. If I went for magic penetration over there, magic penetration boots over there, I could just got a kill onto the Alice really easily. Um, so when you are building Gilded Graves Round instead of Magic Transition Boots, you want to get a Spoopy Mask um, at some point in the middle because you don't you want to have the full Magic Penetration effect onto um, for, for, for your skills to in order to do their full damage. Right? So that's quite important. Uh, especially when you're trying to snow snowball really hard, a Spoopy Mask is a very very good item to build early on just for the uh, penetration effect <clears throat> so right now we're just going, going to help our teammate gather four at the bottom side because dragon is up and like I said in my previous uh, videos a lot you want to get your passive up try to stack your passive as often as possible and as much as possible and over here we're going, going to chase for a little bit still we didn't kill the Atlas at that, the Atlas, this game is pretty tanky at this point and uh, that was just me stealing another kill onto the L suit with my passive if you're aware uh, um, you just have to utilize the damage from your passive uh, try to do damage maybe try to get a uh, kill steal from passive as well that's another use from your passive since we have five men at the mid at mid tower right now man's which is pressuring really hard and Greg hit another nice uh, pull onto the Varus but their whole team respawned. This is what I said about uh, earlier about Alice ult. Once Alice put her ult in front of the tower, really no one can really go in after that because you're gonna get silenced uh, when you are in her ult. And just happening at the, at the right time, their blue spawns. So my team decided to give that blue to me, and that was a pretty uh, wise choice. So we're gonna go back to mid and uh, try to clear the mid wave. So every time I try to clear the wave, I try to have the full stack. If I have two stack over there, I just wait for the wait, wait to kill the cannon minion with, with my first skill, and then I can get three stacks with my first skill. So I'm active and pass it afterwards. Over here, I'm right now. I'm two level ahead of, ahead of this very so I'm not really afraid of fighting her anymore. But Greg pulled her away from me, so that's why I wasn't able. Uh, to do my full combo onto her. If I do my full combo onto anyone on their team right now, they could just, they're all dead right now because I'm just, I have levels ahead and then I can do whatever I want. By this point of the game, I have five kills and eight assists. Probably have the most uh, gold in the game. So, uh, but from here out, you want to play, you want to play safe. You, you don't want to uh, get killed, get killed by the enemy. You're going to give a lot of gold to the enemy team if you I just end up dying. They're gonna get a shutdown on you, and it's pretty good for you. You notice here, my choice is to clear the midway first, activate my passive, right, and then join the fight afterwards. Now, at, at this point, I have my whole passive, and this also flickered to block for the realm and block my ultimate for the room, but end up dying himself as well. So, um, I guess they're a good friend or something, but. Uh, so we're able to get two kills onto the room, onto their else at the same time. 
Now they only have an Alice defending towers, and this should be an easy tower take because we have both mid wave and top wave collapsing the, uh, under the tower. So this should be an easy tower for us. Um, but their team is respawning really quick, uh, really soon. This is still under 10 minutes. The spawn, respawn time is still really short. So we should be we should be retreating right now. But I want to uh, stay just for just for extra damage, extra poking damage, making sure they can't get out of the base. Right, so their blue spawn at the same time. So we should be able to take this blue. And we did end up taking this blue. So we're gonna camp over here just a little bit. And I think Grak hit another nice hook onto the Elsu again. Even though Elsu is quite an uh, overpowered hero, is what people say, but he's just really squishy. You have to. You can just. Once you can do your full combo onto Elsu, notice how I'm just that far ahead and I'm able to kill anyone with my with my stuff. So Eris ended up using her ultimate to jump away. That's how she was able to survive um, against me. And uh, we're just gonna end the game right here. This was a pretty easy game. Enemy surrender. I got eight kills, no zero death, and ten assist. So this was an easy game for Tulin. Just how how normally my Tulin solo queue play uh, gameplay look like. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more future gameplays just like this one. And thank you again for watching and have a nice day.